We have five students who participate in the R&D project, don't we? Why don't you collect some money from the students for our lab? Sure. How about 100,000 won per student? One of the most frequently occurring examples of misuse during the execution of research funding is to withdraw or use students' labor costs for other purposes. We call this joint management of student labor costs. In particular, the joint management of student labor costs are the most frequent issues that draw sanctions related to national R&D projects. It is not permissible to withdraw or use students' labor funds for other purposes. The prohibition of joint management of student labor costs have been emphasized throughout continuous education, but these practices are still not eradicated in laboratories. Student labor cost paid to student researchers who participate in national R&D projects. The fault withdrawal of student labor costs, which includes collecting, using, and managing funds paid to student researchers without a justifiable reason, is a violation of the rules set forth in the National R&D Innovation Act's R&D Funds Purpose and Criteria of Use. It is prohibited for employees or participating researchers from R&D institutions to receive all or part of the amount used as R&D expenses without justifiable reasons. It is prohibited for employees or participating researchers from R&D institutions to receive all or part of the amount used as R&D expenses without justifiable reasons. In particular, illegal withdrawals of student labor costs refers to not paying student labor funds to student researchers who participated in R&D projects and collecting student labor funds paid to student researchers and then managing or using these funds. Let's take a look at actual cases of illegal withdrawals of student labor costs. Professor A falsely registered student conducts research for his project from 2013 to 2015. While having student researchers bank accounts for their labor costs, some of them were jointly managed. As a result, five years of restriction on R&D project participation, 15 million won in sanctions, and 200 million won he had received in funding had to be returned to the awarding institutions. Professor B was found to have falsely registered student researchers for her R&D project from 2017 to 2019 and collected and jointly managed monies paid as student labor costs. The results were five years of restriction on R&D project participation, three million won in sanctions, and six million won of R&D funds that had to be returned. In addition, Professor B was fined for fraud. Professor C collected some of the labor costs from participating researchers from 2010 to 2014 and used them for private expenses. As a result, a term of three years of restrictions was imposed and 10 million won in R&D funds had to be returned. In the event of the joint management of student labor funds, Sanctions up to 10 years of restrictions on participation in national R&D projects and up to five times the R&D funds misused may be imposed as a fine. Moreover, R&D funding may be withdrawn. Furthermore, even if student researchers or administrators became involved in the joint management of student labor costs, the principal investigator who is in charge of the R&D project shall be responsible for all R&D funding as the final decision maker. We appreciate all researchers who conduct R&D projects. Proper R&D spending is the first step toward the maintenance of a responsible research environment. <laughs>